Out of Frankfurt, where Governor Andy Bashir has vetoed two controversial bills, including legislation banning transgender girls from competing on girls' sports teams. Evelyn Schultz is joining us now live from the state capitol with more reaction in this morning's LAX 18 update. Evie? Dear Chris, in yesterday's veto message, the governor says Senate Bill 83 violates the Constitution because it discriminates against transgender children. ACLU Kentucky agrees. They've been outspoken critics of this legislation. In a statement yesterday, spokesperson Samuel Crenshaw said, quote, by vetoing this hateful legislation, Governor Bashir has demonstrated his commitments to protect Kentucky's Kentucky children's constitutional rights and uphold Title IX of the Civil Rights Act. Some Republican politicians have also weighed in, including Agriculture Commissioner Ryan Quarles. In a tweet last night, he wrote, quote, Governor Andy Bashir's veto disrupts athletic competition and opens the door for boys to play in girls sports. Decades of hard work to achieve equality in girls sports is now at risk due to Governor Bashir's extreme view that erases all of the hard work female athletes have earned. Another bill the governor vetoed yesterday is Senate Bill 1. It reduces the power of school-based decision-making councils, giving superintendents the authority to hire principals as well as set curriculum. It also includes language mandating how teachers can talk about race and U.S. history and which materials they can use to teach those subjects. Keep in mind, Republican lawmakers still have time to override any of the governor's vetoes. They meet again next week here in Frankfurt. We are expecting to hear more from the governor today during a press conference happening at 1230. He says he'll be taking action on several bills that have made it to his desk. We're live in Frankfurt this morning. I'm Evelyn Schultz, LEX 18 News.